Hello everyone, I am Sonali Kanawde, Assistant Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department of ASMS IOIT Pune. Today we are going to discuss about the subject Artificial Intelligence and in that we are going to discuss about the introduction and problem solving. So problem as a state space search. A uh, state space search is a problem solving technique used in artificial intelligence to find the solution path from the initial state to the goal state by exploring the various states. The state space search uh, approach searches to all possible states of a problem to find a solution. It is an essential part of artificial intelligence and it is used in various applications from game playing algorithm to natural language processing. A state space search is a way to mathematically represent a problem by defining all the possible states in which the problem can be. This is used in search algorithm to represent the initial state, goal state, and current state of the problem. Each state in the state space is represented using a set of variables. One of the most well-known state space search algorithm is a algorithm other commonly used state space search algorithm includes bed first search, that is BFS, depth first search, DFS, hill theming, simulated handling, and gen genetic algorithms. So features of state space search is that uh, has several features. Uh, that the first is the exhaustiveness. State space search explore all possible states of a problem to find a solution. The next is the completeness. If a solution exists, state space search will find it. Then optimality, searching through a state space result in an optimal solution. Uh, uninformed and uh, informed search. State space search in uh, artificial intelligence can be classified as uninformed if it provides additional information about the problem. In contrast, informed search uses uh, additional information such as heuristic to guide the search process. Uh, they are the, these are the steps in state plus search. First is the initialization. Then next is the setting, the current state. Uh, then uh, this is the flowchart. Actually, this is the flowchart of uh, state plus search or it is a step for uh, state plus search. Uh, if setting of the current state, it is its goal state. If it is a yes, then return the solution. Otherwise, uh, no, then gener generate all reachable states. If already visited, if, if already visited, then skip. If it is not visited, then again setting the current state. Then next is the application of state-based search. State-based search algorithm are used in various fields such as robotics, game playing, computer network, operation research, bioinformatics, cryptography, and supply chain management. In artificial intelligence, state space search algorithm can solve problems like pathfinding, planning, and scheduling. Uh, they are also useful in planning robot motion and finding the most sequence of action to achieve open. In game, state space search algorithm can help determine the best move for a player given a particular game set. The state space search algorithm can optimize routing and resource allocation in computer network and operation research. In bioinformatics, state space search algorithm can help find pattern in biological data and predict protein structure. In cryptography, state space search algorithms are used to break code and find cryptographic key. Searching for solution, search that is the search space states uh, start state and goal state. Uh, search first of all search searching is a step by step procedure to solve searching algorithm or searching pro search problem in a given search space. A search problem can have three main factors versus the search space. The search space they are represent a set of possible solutions which. Uh, um, the system may have. Then system state, it is a state from where agent begins the search. The goal test, it is a function which observes the current state and 
returns where the goal state is achieved or not. They search tree actions, transition model, path for solution, optimal solution. These are the searching for solution. Then properties of search algorithm. First one is the completeness, optimality, time complexity, and space complexity. <clears throat> The types of search algorithm based on the uh, search problem, we can classify the search algorithm into on inform that is blind search and inform search that is heuristic search algorithm. So these are the uh, this diagram shows the uh, on inform blind search that is the uh, in that red first search, uniform first search, depth first search, depth limited search, iterative between uh, depth first search and bidirectional search. These are including un uninformed or blind search algorithm. Then next is the informed search or uh, heuristic search in that best first search and a star search algorithm are included. Uninformed search is nothing but uh, it contains any domain knowledge such as uh, closeness, the location of the bone. It operates in a uh, good force way as it only includes information about how to traverse the and how to identify if and who knows. Uninformed search applies a way in which search tree is searches without any information about the search space, like initial step uh, operates and tests for the bone. Uh, so it is also called as blind search. It examines each node of the tree until it achieves the goal node. Informed search, uh, informed search uh, algorithm with domain knowledge. Basically, most important difference is the uninformed search does not contain any domain knowledge, but informed search may contain uh, the domain knowledge. Uh, in an informed search, problem information is available, which can guide the uh, guide the search. Informed search strategies can find a solution more effi uh, efficiently uh, than an uh, uninformed search strategy. Informed search is also known as heuristic search. A heuristic is a way which might not always be granted for a base solution, but guaranteed to find a Good solution to this uh, reasonable time. Informed search can solve much complex problem which could not be solved in another way. For example, an informed search algorithm is traveling cells one problem. So, uh, in informed, uninformed uh, search algorithm, base first search and depth first search algorithm is most important. Now, uh, bed first search uh, is the most common search strategy for traversing a tree or graph. This algorithm searches bread twice in a tree or graph, so it is called bread first search. Bed first algorithm starts searching from the root node of the tree and expands all successor nodes at the current level before moving the node of the next level. The bread first search algorithm is example of general graph search algorithm. Then the breadth-first search is implemented using TQQ data structure. Advantages of BFS. Uh, BFS will provide a solution uh, if any solution exists. If there are more than one solution for a given problem, the BFS will provide the minimum solution which requires the least number of steps. Disadvantages of that, it requires loss of memory uh, since each level of the tree must be saved into memory to expand the next level. And BFS needs a lot of time uh, if the solution is far away from the root node. The time complexity of that, uh, we go off the rest to D. And space complexity also uh, is that, uh, we go off the rest to D. An example of uh, breakfast search algorithm in the uh, tree structure uh, we have shown the traversing of the tree using BFS algorithm from the root node S to goal node K. The BFS search algorithm travels in layers so it will follow the path which is shown by the dotted arrow and the traverse path will be 
So first node is the yes. Then it this is the level zero. Next is it goes to the level first. That is A and B. There are two nodes. So first it will go to the A, then go to the uh, B. Again, uh, it goes to the third uh, second level. There are four nodes in second level C, D, G, and H. So after B, it will go to the uh, C, then D, G, and H. After that, this level is get completed. Then again, third level. In that level, there are also three nodes, E, F, and I. So after H, it will go to the uh, E node, visited to the E node, then F, I. And last one is the last level is the level 4 that is the k node so this is the break wise searching in uh, is occur in breakfast search so that is the uh, breakfast search algorithm example next is the breakfast search it is uh, breakfast search is a recursive algorithm for traversing a tree or a graph structure it is called the breakfast search because it starts from the root node and follow each path to uh, its greatest depth node before moving to the next path. DFS uses the stack data structure for its implementation. The process of DFS algorithm is similar to the BFS algorithm. So no back uh, no backtracking is an algorithm technique for finding all possible solutions using recursion. So backtracking concept is used in depth first search. So advantages is that DFS requires very less memory as it only needs to store a stack if the nodes on the path from root node to the current node. So it uh, takes less time to reach the goal node than BFS algorithm. So if it is traverses in the right path, this advantage is that there is a possibility that many uh, states keep reoccurring and there is no grant no guarantee to finding the solution. DFS algorithm goes uh, for deep deep down searching and uh, sometimes it may go to the infinite loop. Example of that first search is first root node, first visited the root node, then left node, and then next is the right node. So it will start searching uh, from root node S and traverse Traverse from A, then B, then D, and E. After traversing E, it will backtrack the tree as the E and has no other successor and still goal node is not found. After backtracking, it will traverse nodes C and then G. Uh, and here it will terminate as it found goal node. So G is the goal node of this breakfast uh, search algorithm. So uh, time complexity of DFS is big O n raised to m, and uh, space complexity is uh, big O of b, uh, b into m. So thank you, thank you everyone.